Hello, welcome to watch this video about 16's ribosomal RNA amplicon sequencing made by CD Genomics. After this video you will learn what 16's ribosomal RNA gene is, what 16's ribosomal sequencing is, and how it is performed. First, let's begin with what the 16's ribosomal RNA is. Woos and his colleagues first described bacterial RNA genes as molecular clocks, due to their uncommon features such as universality, activity in cellular functions, and extremely conserved structure and nucleotide sequence. The three types of ribosomal RNA and prokaryotic ribosomes are classified as 23S, 16S, and 5S, according to their sedimentation rates, and have sequence lengths of about 3,300, 1,550, and 120 nucleotides respectively. 16S gene that has become a standard in bacterial taxonomic classification, because it is more easily and rapidly sequenced, and contains enough phylogenetically information. The 16S ribosomal RNA gene consists of eight highly conserved regions and nine variable regions across the bacterial domain. The degree of conservation varies widely between hypervariable regions, with more conserved regions correlating to higher level taxonomy, and less conserved regions to lower levels such as genus and species. A comparison of 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequence similarities is usually used as the gold standard for taxonomic identification at the species level. A range of half a percent to 1% sequence divergence is often used to delineate the species taxonomic rank. Sequencing the 16S ribosomal RNA gene is currently the most common approach used in microbial classification as a result of its phylogenetic properties, and the large amount of 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequences, available for comparison analyzes. 16's ribosomal RNA sequencing has the following advantages. First, 16's ribosomal RNA gene is universally distributed. Second, abundance of 16S RNA gene sequences exceed those of other bacterial genes. Third, it can be used to measure phylogenetic relationships across different taxa. Fourth, Horizontal gene transfer isn't a big problem. Fifth, costs to perform 16S RNA amplification and sequencing are affordable. However, 16's ribosomal RNA sequencing also has some disadvantages. First, copy numbers per genome can vary. While they tend to be taxon specific, variation among strains is possible. Second, PCR amplification biases. Third, diversity of the gene tends to overinflate diversity estimates. Fourth, resolution of the 16S ribosomal RNA gene is often too low to differentiate between closely related species. Fifth, as sequencing costs drop, microbiome research is moving from 16S sequencing to more comprehensive functional representations via whole genome or shotgun metagenomics sequencing. A complete 16S sequencing workflow includes DNA isolation, library preparation, sequencing, and data analysis. After DNA isolation, the DNA is selectively PCR amplified, using primers targeting the 16S ribosomal RNA gene. Common next-generation sequencing platforms cover 100 to 600 base pairs per single read, with varying degrees of accuracy, but the full-length 16S ribosomal RNA gene consists of approximately 1,500 base pairs. Therefore, primers are chosen to cover only a portion of the 16S ribosomal RNA gene. There are several primers pairs commercially available. The full-length 16S ribosomal RNA gene is usually amplified by the pair of primers 27F and 1492R, followed by Sanger DNA sequencing or PERC BioSmart sequencing. Because different lengths of DNA are sequenced by various high-throughput sequencing platforms, a suitable pair of PCR primers should be used. The suitable primer sets for various sequencing system are shown in the figure. Because the V1 to V3 region has been identified as the most useful region for distinguishing among species of the ubiquitous and clinically important skin bacterial genus Staphylococcus, this region is generally used for skin microbiome studies. 16S ribosomal RNA based sequencing is currently conducted using several technologies, including large scale clonal Sanger sequencing, Illuminum ISEC. 454 PIRA sequencing that targets specific regions or is linked to barcoding strategies, and PERC BioSmart sequencing. When sequencing is performed with aluminum ISEC, V3 and V4 region is commonly amplified by using a limited cycle PCR. The PCR products are purified, quantified, and pooled. 
subsequently, add Illumina sequencing adapters and dual index barcodes to the Amplicon target. By using the full complement of Nextera XT indices, up to 96 libraries can be pooled together for sequencing. After high throughput sequencing, filtered and trimmed sequences of high quality are then clustered into operational taxonomic units, commonly based on 97% identity of the reads. Species annotation, OTU phylogeny, diversity analysis, and other studies can be performed after OTU determination by OTU analysis. Thanks for your attention. For more information, please visit our website www.cd-genomic.com. We also provide comprehensive 16S ribosomal RNA amplicon sequencing service to meet your specific need. We are more than happy to be assistance.